Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, Papa didn't get a deer yet this year, but I still have a nice venison roast in the fridge waiting for the crock pot. Today, it's cro a crock pot venison dinner. We got a knob of butter in the frying pan here and we are going to get this hot because we want to sear our roast. Now we're not cooking this. This is still partially frozen in the center. We're not cooking this. We're just searing it around to keep the juices in and the flavor. A little bit of pepper. I'm not going to put any salt. Why? Because we have uh, butter in the pan and it's salted. Now we're going to turn it over onto its, ouch, onto its side. See how we're searing the outside? I'm going to turn my frying pan down. Make sure you get all, it rolled all around in that butter and to all the hot parts. It does help if you move it around. My pan is smoking a bit, so I've turned it down, but I'm going to do this side. See how it just sears the outside? The squarer, the better, actually. And then the ends. Oops. And then the ends. Feel all that wonderful flavor in. It'll keep it from drying out. Well, it never dries out in the crock pot really anyway. All right, let's get this over to the crock pot. Okay, our crock pot is now on high. And I'm just gonna drop our roast in there. All seared and beautiful. And we're gonna drop in some whole, but some whole small potatoes. And we're going to drop some carrots in here, and we're going to set an onion on top because Daddy loves his onion. Now, all I'm going to do, you don't have to put broth in, folks. I'm going to put in a cup of organic broth. Well, not even a cup. Not even a half a cup. Just a little splash to make sure there's moisture in there. And the lid goes on. You know what I almost forgot, folks? The drippings from the pan. Yes, I know it's mostly butter, but we're going to pour the drippings all over that. Now, nah, that is that's good stuff. Yes, my lid is cloudy because I ran out of uh, uh, rinse aid for the dishwasher, but it's clean. Trust me. So, this is going to cook now until supper time. Okay, so here's dinner. Now it's just time to make the gravy. I'm going to take the roast out. Mmm. Mmm, and all the vegetables. Make sure Daddy's onion stays whole. Okay, so there's our plate with the meat and vegetables. Now we're going to make the gravy. Here's the pan that I seared the roast in. And here's a bit of water in a jar. And I'm going to put in... I don't know, two tablespoons of flour in that jar. This is the best way I know how to do this because it stops it from being lumpy. And I just shake it up. And I get my pan nice and hot. That's nice and hot. There goes that. And we're going to brown this up. A little bit in the drippings. Once we get that going, ouch, that's hot. We're going to dump in the juice. And you know what? I made a really big mistake there, folks. I was supposed to get my broth good and hot in the pan, then put the drippings in. Now I have lumps. Yes, folks, Mrs. Wolfie is not perfect. Damn, I made lumpy gravy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain this back into the crock, and I'm going to start over. Out, that's still hot. There we go. 
cold water. Always cold, or you get lumps, as we saw. And there we go. There it is. Okay, Daddy's out in the barn come garage. So I'm going to make him up a plate. Oh my goodness. Look at these are back straps, folks. Venison back straps. Oops. Now, preferably we like our meat medium rare. But when it comes to venison or wild game, we always like to make sure it's thoroughly cooked. That's... Now, Daddy likes his potatoes smushed, buttered, and gravied. I've had a lot of people ask me, would I use venison bones um, for broth? I say, why not? I mean, we make gravy out of the juice, right? So this is that uh, roast I made out of the back straps from the dough last year. Mm -hmm. And I cooked it in the crock pot, nice and slow. I seared it all over. Oh, there it is. There's the happy dance. The, when his bum does the happy dance. Hopefully I'll have another little buck uh, next weekend. I hope. I hope so too. Mm, awesome. Awesome, there you go. We'll leave you to eat your... Uh, yes, there's your onion. Mm -hmm. People uh, must always have my onion with my with your roast dinner. Roast anything. Yeah. All right. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, when you sear it all over and cook a roast venison in the crock pot, doesn't matter how old that girl was, she's as tender as organic beef. Mm -hmm. Take care. God bless. Mm -hmm.